I'm William Wong and I'm Professor of Human-Computer Interaction and I head the Interaction Design Centre at Middlesex University. Prior to coming to academia, I was an officer with the Republic of Singapore Air Force and part of my role was to support the Chief of Air Force during wartime. And one of the things that fascinated me was how he was able to assimilate a large amount of information and that sparked my interest about how do we deal with large amounts of information, how do you represent that? And how do we understand the decision-making processes that these information is intended to support in such complex and dynamic environments? Visual analytics came about largely as a result of 9-11 um, uh, in the United States. The government wanted to find out uh, what information resides across all the data sets uh, at the different agencies and if they could bring them together they would be able to have a better picture of what was going on in the environment and one of the problems of bringing all that data together was how do you analyze them the idea was to be able to create a technology and the science that underlies it to bring together large data sets in a way that you could interact with and dynamically control the computations in order to understand what the results are telling you. With the increasing amount of data that we have to deal with, both in schools, universities, government, industry, visual analytics provide us with a capability to get access into that data and to be able to help us make sense of the data more quickly, more easily and also helps us to, to assemble what we find in a way that helps us understand it. In other words, it helps us construct meaning and construct and assemble information that we find in a way that we can elaborate or tell a story with. Here at the Interaction Design Centre at Middlesex, we have a range of specialties, from visualisation to data mining to sense making. This gives us a very effective approach to the field of visual analytics. Crisis is an EU-funded project, the objective of which is to develop a 3D virtual world simulator for training critical incident managers in dealing with major incidents such as a terrorist attack, for example, on an airport terminal. So that commanders can practice decision-making as the event unfolds. The Crisis Project has um, been deployed in a number of end-user organisations. So like our partners in the Lisbon Airport, they're using it to train their personnel now. As well as our partners in Iceland, we have our colleagues at the British Transport Police using the experimental version. With the large amount of data sets that we are dealing with these days, we need new tools to be able to help us very quickly make sense out of the information that we are being able to access. Visual analytics provide the potential for us to do that, to be able to interactively direct the computation and to be able to see that responding and to be able to use the visual forms to help us inform the next direction of search that we might want to embark in.